हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग द एरर हैंडलिंग और एक्सेप्शन हैंडलिंग इन नेटिव जावा स्क्रिप्ट एंड हाउ टू क्रिएट कस्टम एरर्स विद कस्टम मैसेजेस इनसाइड योर फॉर्म वैलिडेशन पार्ट सो बेसिकली वी विल बी लेट मी शो यू द डेमो ऑफ द एप्लीकेशन सो बेसिकली दिस विल बी अ कस्टम एरर हैंडलिंग सो वी विल बी हैविंग इनपुट फील्ड आउट देयर एंड बेसिकली इफ यू डोंट राइट एनीथिंग एंड इफ यू क्लिक द सबमिट बटन there will be an error that please enter the value this is a custom error that we created using the uh, throw statement which is available inside uh, custom error handling so there are four statements out there in custom error handling Fin uh, first is try second is catch uh, third is finally and fourth is throw so these are the four statements that we will be using four keywords try catch finally and throw which is there inside javascript to handle the custom error handling exception handling so we will be using these four statements and basically if you provide a different name and click submit you will not see name is not equal to kane williamson so this is the second error that we created the custom error that we created using the throw statement we are throwing these errors and the errors which we are throwing and they are catched by a catch statement and then it is displaying this error so basically this is a code here which is uh, written here i will explain you this code uh, step by step I, i will write it now so let's start this tutorial so basically here you need to open index.html file just change the title to custom error handling inside uh, javascript so if you're watching it for the very first time guys please hit the like button subscribe the channel as well so here for error handling purposes guys we will have a simple form so inside this form we will be giving a id to the form here so that we can target it inside javascript so we will be giving a id of form and basically inside this form we will have uh, a input field of type text and uh, we will be giving a id to it of a username and this is uh, we have we are not uh, writing required statement here this is we will be doing this validation at the javascript side and then basically we will have a simple button to submit the form that's it we will be giving that's it so now we will write the custom javascript part guys so now to handle the error handling guys we will be using the four statements both four keywords try catch finally and throw so these are the four keywords which comprises the error handling inside native javascript you can handle these uh, errors using these four statements so first of all we need to wrap all the code inside try catch block so as you know if you have used uh, try catch block before you have know that uh, you need if you need to write important code which is very much important you need to wrap that code inside try catch so this is not limited to javascript this is also available in different languages such as python java Uh, C sharp. All these implement the same concept, which is try catch block. So here you will write first of all, you will get the reference to the form document dot get element by id, which is we have given this id to the form here, which is form here. You can see that. And then basically we will add an event listener. So when the form submits, so basically we will now first of all prevent the auto submission of the form. and uh, now guys let me console log the error if any sort of error take place console log e so let me show you very basic example let's suppose we reference the id that we not given so let's suppose id is form so we are referencing a wrong id so in that case what will happen now it will catch this error and it will console log it so if i now open with uh, if you now see here if you click uh, let's suppose go to the console you will now see type error cannot read properties of null reading add event listener basically this is kind of a error which is showing you in the console basically it is saying that there is no such element which is having this id called as this id that you have provided so it's a wrong statement so it is catching this error it is console logging this and uh, this is the overall message which which is printed out which is a type error so now let let's suppose you only need the uh let's suppose message so basically what you will see only the message of the error will be taking place cannot read properties of null reading add event listener so you can even just uh, print out the part of the message part of the error message e dot type so e dot type will be undefined because there is no such type 
so there is also e dot stack which is also available to you which will actually tell you the line number as well so on which line number the error take place so the line number is uh, 10 on 10th line the error has taken place you will see that if you see clearly let me just do it you can see that on line 61 if you just click on that in the console just click on that hyperlink you will be redirected to the line on which the error has taken place so you will see that so this is the error that you can recognize so it's a very easy way by which you can do it and in this way guys you can do it and also let's suppose you have written a uh, uh, runtime basically this error handling will recognize only the errors which takes place at the runtime basically if you write this like this if you don't uh, if you this is a parse error basically you have opened the uh, curly bracket and you have not closed it so this is a this is a parse error so this will not be recognized if you go to the console here basically your application will not run you can see it's a syntax error you can see that this will not be recognized by catch so this is a parse error only the runtime errors are being uh, cached by this try catch block so this is the most important thing to note and after this guys what we can do is that we can get the name which the user has submitted by the id that we given here which is name here and also we can first of all get the reference to the form as well form so we have given this id to be username sorry username so basically here we can simply first of all check if name is empty in that case there is also a another keyword guys in error handling which is called as throw by the name itself it will be throwing errors so there is a throw keyword here so here we can define our own error which is inside curly brackets you will write name of the error so we will say empty error and uh, comma the message which you need to throw to the error catch statement so here you will see please enter the username so basically what will happen now if you check here so basically it will get the username and uh, it will now check if the username is empty then it will throw this error by using this throw keyword and now ultimately the code after this will not be executed so this line which is username is correct will not be executed because this the control of the program will be shifted to the catch statement and the program will exit because it will throw this error to the uh, in the console so now if I show you if I don't write anything so you can see that username is correct let me see why it is showing this so in the console nothing is there uh, let me see uh, name message Uh, let me see guys uh, throw custom errors in JavaScript so anytime if you face any sort of problem guys you can refer to the stack overflow website I think I uh, this one own object just have the name property Uh, oh sorry this parentheses is not required guys so that's the problem you only need uh, uh, this curly brackets that's it name and message so now if you do this if you click submit if you check the console Uh, why it is saying me through is let me see guys let me revert to the previous code that is written that was correct so you can see that let me see name error empty error if 
else so now you can see that guys we are getting the value and we are throwing this uh, an empty error here and alongside with the message let me just do it let me show you the finally block at last so here you can see we are throwing this error name is equal to empty error message is this one if I just open this here you can see please enter the value and this statement which finally code is correct is not executed and you can even console log this message console log e so basically what will happen now if you check the console you will now see that this custom error will be thrown which is name is equal to empty error please enter the value name is equal to empty error you can change this name to any name of your choice according to your application and there is a second error which is if you don't enter the name which is called as uh, Kane Williamson so you can see that uh, name is not equal to Kane Williamson uh, so this is called as a name is not equal to Kane Williamson name error so in this case guys you can have as many custom errors as you want inside your application at any moment of time you can you just need to use the throw statement here just to throw this error alongside with this uh, object which will contain these two properties name and message and finally if you want to execute a code no matter what happens no matter which error take place you need to execute it so you will use this finally block so inside this finally block guys finally this code will be executed no matter what happens so basically this will be required for releasing of resources or any sort of native work that you want to do no matter what happens so you will now see if I if I don't write this value but this code will be executed finally this code will be executed no matter what happens so there was an error but still it executed you will see that if I now write a correct value Kane Williamson which is correct value so finally code is correct so now you can see that statement is executed finally code is correct all these if conditions and else was wrong so this is the uh, the four statements guide I shown you, showed you which is try catch finally and throw so these four statements comprises the full exceptional or error handling which is there inside native javascript you can even read more about uh, uh, the seven errors which are available inside javascript which is the native errors which are there if you just write native errors in javascript there is a complete list out there which is seven types so these are built in in javascript range error which is a number error reference error uh, syntax error type error uri error which is for urls evolution error internal error so these are seven basic types but you can even create your own custom errors as well by using this throw statement i've shown you in this tutorial live stream please hit the like button subscribe the channel as well and also comment on this video and i will be seeing you in the next live stream